Hello and welcome to the Diet Dr. Pepper series here at Legacy Pocono this week. And if I sound out of breath, it's because I just barely got home in time for this. Uh, they, I was scheduled for work on a Thursday, which I'm not supposed to be. And then just certain circumstances made it so I was not able to make it home nearly as soon as I was hoping I would. So I got basically no practice and uh it really sucks <laughs> but we're gonna try to use the couple of laps i uh, i did as a baseline to hopefully have a good qualifying run but i'm not feeling confident at all just had to sprint into into my home and uh I'm just glad I showed up in time because I didn't think I was going to for a minute there. If this had been earlier in the season, like at Daytona, where uh, the session got full, I would not have uh, I would not have been able to race in this because it would have been full by the time I got here. So, uh, I guess the bright side is at least uh, the server wasn't full and I'm able to be here at all. But I might just have to. have moderate expectations for myself in this one because I'm not ready at all. We'll see. Uh, I think second lane is where you want and want it in the turn one here. Not entirely sure because I didn't get to practice enough. That'll work, I guess. I've done this car at New Pocono, but not Legacy Pocono, so this is technically new, I guess. For me. But at the very least, I uh, have kind of sort of done this before. At least uh, I was able to pull together the best lap I've been able to do so far, but how is it going to stack up? Probably not good enough. About three tenths off of the fastest guys. Practice times. I accidentally went to the bottom. I guess the first lap was decent. I'm so out of breath, like, I was so nervous I was not going to get here on time. I was stressing hard. <laughs> but it looks like probably the first lap was going to be the best one. So we'll do that, and then, uh... Do a practice pit stop. I didn't get to practice any pit stops, and usually things get spread apart really well here at Pocono, so we could very well get ourselves a uh, green flag pit. Oh. I don't know. I don't know how that happened. I'm so confused. Everybody was three-tenths faster, it looked like, than that. So I guess did the track slow down and that was just really lucky for me because I was under driving I have no idea try the practice pit in though that seems fine I guess I don't like it when I'm sliding my tires though until you reset the car and try again pit box in five. I can't believe that that happened. There's still got there's still people out going, so that that might not last. But um, I don't I don't even know if like sixty percent brake bias is what I want. I assume it is because that's usually uh. <laughs> Don't 
That's the end of the session. You're on pole. Well done. On time. Come on, I need one more character. Oh, sorry. I'm I'm like I can't even think of words right now because I don't know. I care about this too much. Probably it's probably my problem. But uh, we've got a warm up here. I guess I'll let you go. Uh, no, no. I'm gonna look at the the standings. That's right. That's what I want to do. <sighs> yeah. Let's look at the standings heading into this race. So we have a good idea. Is this even recording right? I didn't check my recording settings. Okay, it looks like it's good. <laughs> I am like all over the place. Uh, we'll go and look at the uh, league standings. I'm pulling those up right now while warm-up's going on, although I probably should be warming up. I actually need the extra laps. So after this, we'll go back in there. Probably do another practice pit in. And maybe even like really try to push it on pit exit, so that way I'm ready. All right. Here is the league standings. Here are the league standings. It's the correct plural of that. Um, right now, I am the, in the lead by just 15 points, though, as Gavin has had a very consistent season. Tracy back there. I think he's had some bad luck, potentially, in some races. Maybe okay. even missed one? I don't remember. But um, he's sure to be... Uh, okay pressuring for sure and so you can see uh, there's kind of your top 10 we'll just look at that for now so I can go out and get some more practice thank you for uh, dealing with my rushed sense of this um, okay got it. that's all ready we've got we've only got like 40 seconds so I guess we'll just uh, do a practice pit entry if we can practice uh, exiting pit very dangerous pit exit here by the way legacy Pocono especially because there is no like apron down here so people going in to turn one to turn one are gonna be coming up on guys exiting the pits real fast so that's got to be something to watch out for Whew. I don't even know if I have my braking markers right. I guess they work well enough, but I kind of was just basing them off of how I remembered current Pocono. And uh, I made some adjustments, like learning that uh, a lane up seems to be better for turn one, which I originally was going straight to the bottom. I couldn't even get to the pit in time. Oh my gosh, I'm so rushed. Heart's beating way too fast, and I need to calm down because we got got 100 laps to do. Uh, I, I didn't do any practice before this. <laughs> like, I'm scared. I really hope I'm able to keep it calm and uh, keep it steady. Hmm. Deep breath. All right, yoga. We'll just do some yoga meditation. Not yoga. No, I'm not putting my foot behind my head while I'm sitting here. 27 seconds. I got to get in the car. One lap to green. You'll be <laughs> so stressful. 100 laps. 20 now we got to come up with the strategy, by the way. Uh, looks like we'll do 25s at a time. Yeah, DNFs are bad. Thank you. I know that. Get the volume right. I didn't get to adjust the volume yet. The track temp is 104. The air temp is 84 Fahrenheit. Pole position. Whew. All right. In it rolling. Find out what gear we need to be in. Plan to pit every 25 laps. I remember we had uh, some extra tires for this race. I believe a set, an extra set of tires than what we were originally going to get with four here. So we're going to pit 25, 50, and 75. Use up three of those four tires. The extra set is to provide a little bit of strategy flexibility, if necessary. 
I think that's a good call. We get like cautions and such. Um, is it a first gear start or a second gear start? It is definitely a second gear start, okay. Let's save some fuel so that way uh if we can go if we need to go can go an extra lap, can. Thousand things running through my head. Thankfully the uh pace lap here is quite long, so uh give me a little bit of time to gather myself. Starting in second gear. Pardon me, I'm gonna take a drink. I haven't had a chance to get a drink first before this, so Okay, that's better. I need a drink, because under lap race, we're going to be here for a minute. I'm going to be blabbing to myself for about a couple hours, so. Okay. Judging by uh, my little tests, we should be able to get on the gas pretty good without spinning the tires. Long straight away before turn one, so hopefully we should be single file when we get there. Seventy-five is the pace speed, it looks like. Oh shoot! I didn't even hear it say pace car was off. I was not ready. Okay, well, why were three wide? Why is this not turning? I'm so not ready for this, man. I don't feel ready at all. Okay. We're fine. We're single file. Taking it easy. We're not doing hot laps. Just try to be nice to the tires. Ish. Not. We don't need to do too crazy, though, because... Not very much fuel you can put in the tank here. There's some shade on the track, interestingly. So we gotta get a little more grip, maybe. And the brake's good, and we're gonna take the bottom line, just because we get some extra rotation down there. Guess that's what we want. Very cloudy day here in Sorry, Pennsylvania. I that, it's all good. I had a ton of rear brakes, so I wasn't, wasn't ready for all that. Still just trying to get my heart rate down. Um, we're fine though. I'm gonna shut up about it because I feel like I'm being annoying talking about how freaked out I was. But they're side by side up ahead. They are more than welcome to fight each other for as long as they want. I'd just be content. And hopefully saving tires a little bit. I've been pretty bad about saving tires in this car. And usually you can get away with it, but sometimes you can't. And ideally, you'd uh, be able to... You know, strike a nice balance. I was using a shadow for my breaking point into turn two, and I didn't realize it. I thought the wall was just, like, painted a little differently. And now the shadow's gone, and I'm, I don't have a breaking marker for turn two anymore. So, that's fun. If you want to get around me, Andrew, I'm going to leave the bottom open for you. Thank you. We're uh, nice and uh, caught up. Not caught up, maybe, but we're keeping up. The two guys ahead. They kind of uh, took a quick lead on me. Where's my braking marker now? Where do I brake? 
Oh no, it's, I, I was kept, the place I was was kind of like between two of the signs, so I don't really know where I should be anymore. Thank goodness we were at current Pocono not too long ago, because I think that's what has saved me in my unpreparedness. Because if this had been the first time I'd ever been on this track at all in this car, I think I would have been much worse off, but I kind of was able to use my pre-existing uh, experience at the other version of Pocono and use that as a starting point, and I think that saved me. Cloudy day. Well, I wonder if it's ever going to brighten up at all. Kind of getting more of the feel for turn two. We got a big gap between 4th and 5th, which is interesting. But the top 4 here, all kind of sticking together. Ian's pulling away a little bit, it looks like. But we're kind of still just even with John. I found myself a new breaking marker for turn two. Loose on exit. I probably need to be thinking about my throttle input a little bit more. Usually before a race I kind of have like a mental, a set of like mental notes to think of when I start my race as part of my preparation process. Like, all right, be careful out of turn four here because it's, it gets, likes to get loose and I don't want to burn up the rear tires. You know, stuff like that. Uh, never mind the fact there's no turn four here. <laughs> so uh, that was probably not a great, a uh, great thing to use as an example. Wow, but uh, we're getting sideways, so that's cool. Take it easy. We're fine. We're good. You can have it, 254. Getting a feel for like how much throttle I can put into this thing here before the track surface is like, nah, you're spinning your tires now. It's a terrible corner. I really don't know what the tires are going to do. I had no sort of long run practice. So I don't always anyway. So I guess that's not too new. Turn to okay. I think I need a wider arc into three. I think that might have been what I did wrong last lap, not a wide enough arc. Obviously, runs off the corner here are very, very important. Long straightaways. Token knows basically three long straightaways connected. I don't know, maybe that's really obvious. No duh. It's not kind of what all tracks are, but... Whatever. Turn one is terrible. Track is catching. Not feeling smooth at all. My inputs. Really wish I could clean it up a little bit.
Man, if I can just if I can just get a solid finish, I'm okay. Um, how unprepared I felt like I was. I'm just I'm very I'm perfectly happy with where I am right now. Much better turn one that time. Getting into the, the rhythm a little bit. Let's see, we got about 17 laps. We can actually go a little bit longer than I thought. Just a tiny bit, though. There's no way, I don't, I don't think there's any way you could save to lap like 33. That would be a little much, because a lap here is quite a distance. So when you're asking to save multiple laps of fuel, there's a big difference between doing that at Bristol and doing that at Pocono, you know what I mean? So, I'm not sure there's going to be much to do in that regard. Yeah, I was just saying that. <laughs> terrible, terrible tunnel turn. Alliteration happened there. On a couple of green cars here today. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Long. That was terrible. I feel like this is all stuff I would have been able to clean up if I had gotten practice, you know. So I'm just kicking myself, but who knows? Maybe it wouldn't have mattered. Loose out of the corner. I just feel like I'm such a mess. Not really sure what the tires are doing necessarily. They're, the right rear is definitely mad at me, but it was always kind of having issues anyway. I don't know what that turn in was, but stunk. It's, it's really the rear tire, it's not doing well. So maybe this is a track where it, tire saving really has a lot to do with easing onto the throttle more than anything else. Maybe that means we can take the second lane and be okay. Let's try that out here. I don't know. We've got a better run, but is it enough to equal out? It doesn't look like it. Better, better tunnel turn that time. I can't speak. It's weird. We uh, when you got like the sectors on the la session last lap and stuff. There's only two sectors for this huge track, so it's kind of hard to always know exactly where you're gaining or losing time. 
right sideways. Those bumps down there suck. out on me. That was uh, 57.2. I really need to improve in turn one, I think. I think there's a lot I can do. To... Last lap was terrible in turn one, so I don't even feel that good that I'm only barely faster. to terrible is the word of the day, I guess. It's a terrible triangle. It's one race of the day, I guess. But don't blame the triangle, blame me. Oh, three retires. Okay, Should have been better to them this whole time, and every time I slide them, it's just going to get worse. Mess that up again. Man, I, I, guess, I guess I've gotten about 16 and a half laps of practice at this point, so at what point uh, have I successfully gotten enough practice? And I'm just bad. <laughs> That's uh, something to think about, I guess. I guess it's all relative though. I'm third, that's not bad at all. Just critical of myself. Because I feel like I can do better. I always feel like I can do better, so. That's why I'm hard on myself, I guess. I'm trying that lane up again. Coming closer to pit stop time. 25 was my initial thought. Didn't feel very good at all. Chuck's right behind us. John's kind of catching Ian up there. Oh, you're good. So that's interesting. I didn't even get to experiment with shifting. I heard people talking about they were thinking about shifting. I've not even tried it though. I didn't get a chance to. So if that's a thing, I'm just going to not be able to participate in that part of the race, I guess. And just garbage turn two. Just horrendous. Just completely miss it. So Chuck's going to go by us. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Let it happen. He gives the uh, silent thank you. You end up and not saying anything. It either means his mic's not working or he says thank you. That's sign language, I guess. Okay. Looks like John has gotten around Ian successfully up there. We'll see if there's uh, any more attempts to get alongside. all over the place. 
nice. But, just doing the best I can. Oh, maybe almost some contact up there. Very close, if not. Tracy's only a second back. This tire might be doing much better. Barely control this thing on exit. Ruining turn two again. It's okay, we got a better run out. I think Pocono is a place that really benefits from smooth inputs, and I just feel like I've been the opposite of smooth this whole time. If a smooth input is a straight line, I have been doing zigzags this whole race, which just cannot be good. Cannot be ideal. So I'm going to try to think about that and try to make an adjustment. We can have better attempt through the next run. Yeah, if I just smooth out my inputs, that was so much better right there. Both, for one and two, both were much better that time, so. Just uh, take that deep breath. You've got about five laps of fuel. Five laps of fuel left. I does not want to get going out of the corner. We at least want to make it to 25 for sure before we hit. Just to make sure that uh, we are good all the way. At least uh, they haven't gotten a huge lead. John's doing pretty darn well out there with the 1.6, but two guys ahead are still within one second. Nick Wing, unfortunately, leaves. Might have run into some sort of issue. It is just drifting out of the corner sometimes. The car in front is Oh, what was that? And just swerving to the inside. The gap to header behind is now 1.0. What I'm doing in this corner. See, it's just... Every once in a while, I just completely botch it. Like, I don't know what that was, but I'm two tenths down. That is not insignificant. Okay, see within a second behind us now. Still barely drivable out of three. Some people coming in. Lots of people coming in, actually. I can't drive, man. I'm terrible. What am I doing? What was that? Why am I driving like this? It's so bad. Alright, we're coming in this lap. Just freaking garbage. What am I doing? You've got two minutes of fuel remaining. I'm gonna be pitting this time. I'll be pitting this lap as well. 
Pitting in, pitting. I was more worried about myself that time. I didn't get to practice entry enough. Pit box team. Oh, okay. Pit box in three, two, one. Right here. Notice. Wow. Freaking mess. I hate myself. Oh. 57, 56. Okay. Be easier in the right rear, maybe? I don't know. I don't have time to do chat. Just freaking can't pit. Can't drive. Move it, move it. St so stressed, man. Stay inside the line. Bumps down here. Oh, the leader sitting now is pitting. <sighs> Just terrible. And look how far back I am now. Just throw me in the garbage, man. This is terrible. So hot in here, I didn't get the turn air conditioning on before I started. Is a car leaving the pits? I gotta stop complaining, I'm sorry. Gotta go a lane up here because guys are coming out of the pits. Should be fine actually. Nick came in lap 20. He's going for an extra stop, maybe? Which is very interesting. The leader is printing now. Just gotta be patient behind him. The leader's bidding now. Car outside. Uh, maybe he was letting us go. I'm not sure entirely. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Around him. Clear up top. The car ahead's I don't trust myself at all side by side right now. You're in the top I just don't feel very smooth or comfortable. Overdriving. I don't know what this corner was. I just hope I get a top 10, to be honest. That's all I want. Was, oh, what happened to Chuck? He must have had a penalty or something. Man, he's got terrible luck. It feels like he's always leaving these races early after he's been running so well the first part of the race. The lead is pitting now. It's unfortunate. You're in We're coming up on Matthew, who has not hit yet. Could he be trying to make it to 33? It'd be very, very interesting if you could do that. He is well off the pace, though. Will that matter if he can eliminate an entire pit stop? Inside. Couldn't work out for him. Stay high. Clear inside. Three seconds up. A lot of that lost on pit road, which... Upsets me. I, just, I continually slide past my box on pit road for some reason. Brain doesn't work right. But we've at least got a little bit of a gap to fifth behind us. Two lap fresher tires, but are we even pulling away from them? I don't know. Should be taking care of my rear tires, but my th I'm not focused, so I'm not thinking about it. 
when it should be. Tracy's back there about one second. He's got one lap fresher tires, so he's going to come past me again, I'm sure. Terrible song. I just, I know, I know I need to stop saying it. Just not happy with how I'm doing, is all. Gotta be more patient on the throttle through one. Hoping that'll pay off a little bit over time. Got to remember to hit my braking marker too, because I, I every other lap I miss my braking marker. Drive in incorrectly. I think three is just so important because it's where I can really light up the rear tires and I'm just uh, not being as careful on the throttle as I need to be. It'd be a place I can really improve, I think. I need them to start fighting side by side up there if I want to keep up with them. No. Is that a sarcastic good job, maybe? I don't know. You can't tell. People are really nice in this series. But usually in official races, whenever someone's like, good job, it's uh, a sarcastic good job. And it means there was probably contact of some sort moments prior. We are uh, approaching a third of the way through the race. Guess I messed up that corner really bad because it was a tenth slower than last lap. I don't think fall off is that big. Good in turn two either. Mitch is also on a lap fresher tire back there, just over a second back. So I could definitely fall outside the top five. Up to better. Right. Now. Uh, you know, up in fifth, missing my corner because it's a terrible. P3. Looking at uh, those people around me, let's just, I need just to get through this race. I feel terrible. I just need this race to be over. Kind of like being unprepared for a race. It's very stressful. is going to come catch me. We're not even close to the next pit stop, and he's already coming and passing us, so we've had a really bad time of it late.
I'll let you go here, Tyler. I'll just lift early. Thank you. So he's got a better run, so he's going to come past us in the tunnel turn. Car inside. Keep high. Clear. We'll lose a ton of time there. So Mitch is going to come past us now. Just want this race to be over. Kevin's right back there. B4, you've just done it. 57.1. What am I doing? I just want to go home. <laughs> He's going to pass me into the tunnel turn now. Stay high to the car on the low side. Clear inside. Alright Colton, the next car is Grunowski. Passed inside. out of the tunnel turn. Just going to go all the way to the back. Go along. Clear. I don't even know if I want to upload this. I'm too negative. I don't know, I guess I guess I will. I just know I'm sorry. I'm not I'm not mentally or physically prepared for this race. Sixth place. Oh, Mitch get the wall maybe? Just a little bit? At least we got a gap to seventh, so we won't fall anymore for a while. Oh. It's not turning. I don't understand why. It was loose the first run. Now it's not turning. Maybe it's the uh, track cooling off making the track tighter. That could be something. We have had shade for a while. It's afternoon in the in the race server here. Show myself sideways. I'm getting even more sideways though. Sliding out of the corner. Freaking curb. Get it to lap fifty. Nick or anybody else doing the hit every 20 laps strategy probably has come in or will come in rather. 
part maybe has come in. Yeah. In fact, that might be him up there. It is. Oh, wow, a caution. I did not expect that. I really thought we were going to go green all the way. That's interesting. Not what Nick would have wanted to see just coming out of the pits. Twenty-five carbide. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. Show twenty-five will be coming to uh, past us here in a bit. Doesn't matter. We got the pace car anyway. Where's the pace car? Twenty-one and two. If I need to pass me, there he is. Right? He's coming, right? 25, you gotta go around me. Eventually. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. Hopefully he'll catch up to the, uh, Pace car. Interesting to see what this is going to do for fuel. Man, now I got to think about that. I'm going to try to take this break, this moment of peace, to uh, reset my brain. The leader, Klopp, is pitting. Watch your speed limit in the pits. And uh, hopefully not be as negative. I'm sorry I have been. It's, uh, it's stressful brain talking. Pit box team, 10. 5. 3. 2. 1. Right here. Just, I, I have forgotten how to do pit entries. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I was just gonna ask that it doesn't start until it says 3, 2, 1. We're done, get going! They want you in single file. Mm, pretty much the same spot. At least you get 3, 2, 1, and I just get right here. Catch up, 99. Car. We gotta save fuel. We just have to run this thing dry. We might be able to save a pit stop. Uh, I'm gonna get you right there. I guess. Off. Is that, how, is that what's happening here? Yeah, that was a good race off the road, actually. Seven. I fucking flipped through my box. I screwed myself. I don't know, man. I can't do math right now. Catching the guys ahead. This car shouldn't be too far away, so I'm not too concerned. Anyone know what the coffin was for? Interesting. No one knows what the caution was for. No idea. I know the 25 was running really slow. I don't know if he blew up something. Huh. No, it wasn't me. Must have been debris. <laughs> Let that Saving fuel, that's why I'm passing the 99. Exactly. Make sure we stay caught up coming to the green here. We don't need any big accelerations that can back up the field before we come to green, so just be careful here. So we've got 56 laps when we get to the green. Can't make that on one. 28. Oh, wow, we're going to be just short of being able to make one more stop. So we're going to save as much as possible. 
We have to, I think. It's going to be a save fuel run, I guess. Trying to save fuel, but at the same time stay caught up so we don't cause any accordions. I guess uh, it's a fuel race now. Get ready, going green. Can't see worth a darn. Just gonna get past. That's fine, I guess. I don't know how to restart here, I guess. Keep high. Clear. Off a turn here, I guess. Car inside. Still inside. Just get major sideways. Keep high. Come on, Vic. Yeah, I know it, right? Try to save fuel. Uh, 55. That's not possible. There's no way. Is there? You've just done I don't know. There's no way. I can't freaking drive. I can't. Oh. It sucks so bad. Inside. Hey. Still there. Inside. Clear. I can't decide if I want to try to save or not. Wasting time right now. Fifty four, we would have to make it twenty seven. I saved two laps of fuel, that's so much here. P six, the lap time was fifty six point two. We'll try it, I don't know. Yes. Why would you do that, dude? Oh, really? uh, never mind, doesn't matter. You're gonna have to watch that replay. I was running down and you can turn left. Come in again. Oh. Line up single file behind car number twenty nine. Definitely don't take tires, whatever we do. Catch that twenty nine car. Catch the pace car. I think we come in and get fuel. Is that what we do? I think we come in and get fuel. What? 
do we do if they come in? I guess we still come in and get fuel. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. So we can one stop it to the end if we come in and get fuel now. I'll have to two stop it if we don't potentially. Pits are open. So I'm gonna get the fuel. Tires are off. What are these guys gonna do? Are they gonna do the same thing? Yeah, we're coming in. Pit speed limit. We'll need to stop again to get to the end. I just I can't be competitive today. Driving hard, I'm gonna wreck myself. So let's just put fuel in it. Five, three, two, one. Right here. Yeah, good idea. Slide the tires since we still need to use them. Ninety-eight, ninety-seven. Go, go, go! Not making the pit exit mistake again. They want you in single file. Twenty-eight laps. We can make it to the end now, or you know, we can make it to one stop to the end now. Rather. He might might be able to anyway though. Because it was pretty close. Alright, let's try to get to be positive. And <laughs> try not to be so negative. I know I said I'd do it before. I'm trying, man, I'm sorry. Trying to uh reframe the mind here. So, it's focus right. on our new plan. New plan is we only have to do one more stop. We have to make it to at least uh, 77, I think is how it is. No, 73. Right about 73. Right? So they probably could make it anyway. We're going green next time by. I'm gonna be way back here. We probably could have made it on one stop anyway to be honest so that probably made no sense at all my head's just not in it tonight to be honest so gap. I'm sure he'll close that out before we actually get close to going green. Big gap still. I'll go low, guys. Go around me on both. Okay. Post carry drop. We're racing to do your job. Green, green, green. Here and start, but we figured it out, I guess. Car inside. Clear inside. Okay, gotta watch out for Rex. There's lots of guys in front of us. We've had a couple in a row, I think. Outside. 
stay low. There is a car on the high side. Keep low. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Outside, clear. Car outside. Still there. Hold your line. Stay low. There is a car on the high Make side. Should we hold our line? Stay low. Outside. And under him. Still there, hold your line. Coming up on halfway here. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. P15. Be careful Stay on low. entry. Car on the high side. Still there. Outside, okay, clear. The next Outside. Car is king. Oh my god, don't bump draft me, please. You cannot bump draft in this car body. Hey, get around him. Maybe they can't make it to, uh make it one stop. So we need to go to green to the end. That's what we need. You passed this lap for Dronowski, 55.3. P14, that was a 56.2. 14th. Even that's not the worst. I would be okay with the 14th. Car outside. Clear. Let's go. And. Thirteen. I think we're leading the guys that took fuel. P thirteen. That lap was a fifty-five point eight. I think we go kind of long this run, just to make sure we can make it to the end. We'll just run it empty, I guess. Run on the 72. Stay low. Clear outside. P12. I'll get you the bottom in one, Tyler. Thank you, Nick. Yeah, no problem. Trying to really focus on staying smooth. I think I've done an okay job so far. See, I'm being positive. Doing okay. Potentially got a strategy advantage here, potentially, which could pay off for us. So that's something to look forward to. Just need it to stay green. Probably really far ahead. Leaders are. But not far enough ahead that's a uh, an extra pit stop 
will be okay for them. That's what we might be looking at here. Sass is now in the lead. Whew. That was a little bit scary. Hold on to it. doing here a terrible entry but that's okay together we'll get an okay exit so that wasn't so bad everything's doing just fine we love Pocono and you know what I'm trying my best and that's all that matters right <laughs> now remember this is a fun series and you know what? I am having fun. Can't be too critical of myself. We're doing okay. Fun car to drive. I wonder when they're going to start coming into pit. Times are pretty consistent. It's not going to be too much... Uh, not going to be too much before we come in. They can go quite a while still, so I imagine they probably will. Oh, is he heading for the wall? Yikes. I looked for a second like he was on a collision course. Just had that look of him like just being outside of the groove and maybe that car wanting to head up there. Don't quite have enough of a run on him. Just follow him. Make sure we break a little earlier so we don't get into the back of him. I just don't feel very good in turn one. Just in general. Hit it right maybe like once this whole race it feels like. Equal run, but we will have the inside advantage into turn one. Go ahead, Tracy. Should we back it down enough? John's blinking quite a bit. I'm afraid to. I'm hoping you stabilize. Yeah, I'll hold on to it. So he's gonna fight us off. It's fine. We're really racing with our advantage right now in our pocket. So that's really what we're. Most concerned about. The uh, time I can make up on top of that is just bonus. I did not want to turn right there. I think trying to hold that extra inner line turn one really made the right front on happy. through one that time with a better angle. Got about two seconds back to the next guy on our strategy. Which is Tyler. Car outside. Still there. Let's 
fighting us hard. We'll be on the inside on turn at turn one again. Far down the track. I feel like. Well, did I come down on you too much? I'm sorry if I did. I'm not sure. I'd have to see the replay. Sorry if that was on me. But I probably uh, definitely could have went up to the wall, had more coming off the corner, so it's most likely on me. I'm not sure. I'd have to, like I said before, I say anything for certain. See the replay. I think he was too far down the track, but man, he's really holding me back here. Which he can do if he wants. Just makes me frown. You know that? Just makes me frown. Hate the exit of one on the bottom. It's no grip whatsoever. This is the worst. I'm gonna have to try to get around him on the outside or something. Couldn't turn down because didn't have enough grip. That's second lane. Sans is leading the race. Go on tunnel turn. Finally. Oh, God. <laughs> he did a good job doing it when he needed to do. Defending. If he, wants, uh, if he wanted to fight that off. But darn, it's frustrating for the guy trying to pass. <laughs> good racing with him, though. Good battle, Colton. Go get him. <laughs> yeah, good battle. He did a great job defending. see what we can do. We can overdrive one. That is what we can do. Tires are dead. <sighs> Gotta get back into the smooth mindset. Keep it consistent. Keep it smooth. Don't overdrive. The tires hate me. Ugh. Yeah, the tires are not happy. After that battling. Is now Tracy in the lead. Yeah, my tires are not happy after that. Would you try to pass me on the outside on exit? God's sake. Keep He tries to pass me is because I'm slow. <laughs> to answer my own question that came about because I was just stressed. Oh, someone's in the wall. Don't bring out a caution, please. 
this strategy thing that we got going on is the only thing I have to look to do. They're freaking miles away up in the lead. Papers are so bad. Tyler's caught us from like two seconds back. He's the other guy on our strategy. We really want to stay in front of him as much as we possibly can. God, my tires are terrible after that battle. Of course, Tyler's going to get around him immediately, so he doesn't have to deal with that. There is no grip left on these tires whatsoever. Putting myself back in the pack was a consequence I knew about when going for this strategy. I knew I was going to be farther back, so I can't complain when it happens. It was something that was always going to be a factor. Just have to get back to hitting laps the way I need to. Are they going to be able to make it to 75? Because that's how, that's where they, well, they need to make it to like 73. They're going to make it just fine. I'm just stupid. They probably didn't need to pit. That's probably all it is. Just winning this race in every possible way I can. No grip at all. I'm going to need to see them pit, like, now. I want to believe they don't have a chance to make it on one more stop. Just freaking no grip. I think Tyler should be able to pass me with how bad my car is feeling. Come on, the leader's got a pit. Or else that pit stop I had was worthless. Okay. Okay, that's really interesting. They really gonna have to save fuel if they want to make it to the end with that. Just please stay green. I'm so slow through turn one. 
They gain so much on me every lap through there. You have about five laps of fuel left. Putting this time. Those guys are really close to being able to make it. The lead is bidding now. Phipps ahead is pitting. You're in the start of time was at 57. I think we'll come in not this lap, but maybe the next. Gavin's saving fuel hard. He might be struggling to even make it to the end of this lap. No, oh, they got me close on fuel right now. You know, with me not even leading a lap on the first lap, even though I got pull, I don't have those bonus points yet. No, no. All right, Colton, lap times are pretty consistent. So it'd be nice if I could lead a lap. Ran out of fuel right when I got to my car. Oh my gosh. Maybe we go one more if Billy pits here. So that way we can lead the lap. I think we do. He's pitting here, so let's get to the line. Let's get to the line. Before him. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Okay, we led the lap. So that's bonus points. We'll pit in this time. That's terrible. I'm going to be pitting in this lap. Alright. I am as well. Don't mess it up. Please. Alright. Tires are on. Fuel, again. good. Pit box team, 10. They might need to save, we probably Pit don't. Team, 5, 3, 2, 1. Right here. Stopped in the box. 61, 61. Sure doesn't feel like it. Fastest lap for Cluck, 55.3. I'm gonna say hi, Gavin. All clear, punch it. Just trying to get behind. One tire yeah. remaining. Here, here. Spinning the tires enough. That's his. Alright, Colton, the next car is Lola. Alright, we'll see how this cycles out. It needs to go green to the end, though. We need them to not be able to make it. Wow, we got so much grip. We gotta get used to that. Don't really know what place we're in. It would seem to imply 12th. Judging by the relative. Maybe we could get fastest lap too. Should we do that? I, don't th I think it's a bad idea. Now, 
three seconds ahead of Tyler now, so I guess we had a good stop. In the top 10. So I guess worst case scenario, we still get a top 10. That's not that's not even close to the worst case scenario. So let me use different phrasing. It still should be on track for at least a top 10, so I can feel good about that. I'll be pitting this time. Really like that rear tire to be a little happier this time. Just keep sliding it though. No matter what I do, I just keep sliding it. You're in the top ten position. A little sideways mid corner there again. They are so far ahead. 16 and a half seconds to the lead. But that shouldn't be surprising, I guess. I think they can probably make it. Which is the unfortunate truth. But maybe not all of them, so... Maybe we can get a couple more. Try to be really careful out of three this run. Uh, Dakota came in three laps before we did. Catching up to him. Hopefully it won't be as difficult this time to get around Dakota. Too much. The gap behind is increased to 0.7. So we are P9. Yeah, I'll give you the bottom, Tyler. Thank you again. Use it through three, no sideways race cars, please. Billy's only got one lap older tires up there. And he can make it to the end. He definitely can make it to the end. The next car is Roberts. So he came in lap 75. He must have saved a ton that last run. Guy ahead of him, a Layton, two lap fresh retires. He can make it to the end. Probably. I think I'm going to have to throw the yellow for uh, rain in the area. No. Do it. No. I agree. Don't you dare. Hard pass. Please don't. Yeah. Yeah, green flag, green flag racing is so much fun. It always rains the poke, and it would be fitting. I think it should do it. Andrew is borderline on his fuel. Yeah, I'm just kidding. It's the next guy up. I didn't have my tires checked when I came and did a pit stop, so I basically had to do two pit stops. So that was fun. Oh, that sucks. That's what happened to Gavin, I guess. Been there, done that. is now 2.3 seconds.
That's uh, is news to us though, because he's our he's the guy behind us. And somehow I got a speeding penalty for going 60 up the, the green cone. He's the guy behind us in the championship standings, so we could be in position to gain some more on him. He's not able to pull it back. Where is he right now? Oh, 16th. Okay, so. Not great, but could have been worse for him, I imagine. Definitely lost a lot of time. Sounds like. We have 17 to go when we get to the line next time. Rear tire's feeling okay for now. Still hanging in there. Sure you don't want some back enter? I really don't know what this is going to look like. I don't know who's going to be able to make it and who isn't. We lost so much time battling before, though, with Dakota. I don't know how much that's going to affect it. I freaking can't get through one, turn one that time. So there's multiple tenths lost. Pocono is brutal, man. It is so punishing. You have to be so precise. Side by side up in front of us. Andrew falling back because he might need to be saving fuel. That's interesting because he fell off pretty suddenly it looks like. Turn one better that time. That's the only explanation I have for Andrew losing some time there all of a sudden. Feeling better about how I'm going through turn three lately. Those guys are so far ahead. Even if they save hard on fuel, I bet they can make it anyway and still be in front of us. Some of those earliest pitters, though, I don't know if they can do it. So I feel like we're gonna at least have one or two at minimum guys that we can pass late you can see how much I assume Andrew is saving and he pit only three laps before we did you're reeling pips in the gap is 2.6 really messed up turn three that time Looks like we should be able to catch Andrew. I think we should have enough time to do so. Oh, 
I finally got my practice in. Only took to the third run to where I feel like I'm being consistent and smooth, like I should be. <laughs> it only took, what, like 75 laps to get there? But I do feel like I'm being much more consistent now. Andrew's very sideways. Gonna get a ton on him here. It's gonna be within one second by the time we get to turn two. Okay, Colton, you're reeling fits in. The gap's now 1.0. Who's gonna come in? Who's not gonna make it? Again, we know Billy will, and he's still 2.6 seconds ahead. Pretty certain that a Leighton will. He's right in front of him. Again, a ton through the tunnel turn. I guess tire wear probably matters a huge amount. There go inside. Outside is clear. Get around him though. There's no way Tracy can make it. I do not believe that he can make it. I would be shocked if he could save that much fuel. What am I doing? Missing turn two. That's the answer. Thinking about what Tracy can do and not worrying about what I'm going to do. Just getting to turn two. Get back on track. Ten to go. Ten to go. This time by. Eighth place. You're reeling this car in. The gap's now 1.9 seconds. So, Tracy's probably having to save fuel really bad, if he even thinks he can make it. And he's got two guys about ready to pass him, it looks like. They're too wide. Just pulled my desk back. I'm pulling on the steering wheel so hard. Let me push that back where it belongs. Jeez. It's like I'm flying an airplane, and I'm like pulling the steering wheel back to... <laughs> Go up in the air. Your lap time was 57.0. Thank you. The car in front I made a poor calculation on the field. How many did he say? And hear what he, how many he said. That would have been very interesting to hear. But he's short on fuel, he says. So we're gonna be able to get past him. The gap to Phipps behind is now 1.0 seconds. I don't know what the I don't know when those other guys came in. 
first through fourth. The gap to Edda ahead is now 0.9. Grace is going to take it as long as he can, I imagine, so that way he can hope to catch a caution. I don't think I'm gaining on Billy or Leighton quickly enough. I think I'm gaining on him at all, to be honest. That was a uh, 57.1. P8. Maybe a late in a little bit, but I don't think it's enough. Should not be doing what I've been trying to tell myself not to do this whole run. Boost out of three. I'm pushing too hard again. You've just done a 57.0. Okay, Colton. That's good consistency. Keep it up. I see a lot there. That was a big lift off into the corner for him. Catch the two guys ahead. Is anyone gonna need to pit though? You got five laps to go. Five to go. We've got just two extra laps of fuel. Just two. Mitch probably is gonna be able to make it. Very borderline, but I think he's probably got the ability to do so. But it's uh, his need to save gonna make him too slow, and are we gonna start catching him real quick here? He's only three seconds ahead. I think in the next lap or two we're going to start seeing the first people that have to last second pit, if I had to guess. Even if they don't, though, P7's pretty darn good. Yeah, 
front is now 1.9. You got about five laps of fuel left. Five laps of fuel, that's plenty for us. Oh, I saw a wall hit up there. I don't know who it was. Pretty sure I did. It looked like a puff of smoke. No, it was out of the corner of my eye. Two more. Let's go. There's got to be people running out, right? At least one more. Maybe Tracy was the only one that was going to run out. No, oh, we're coming to the white flag, though. So maybe they can make it. Let's just miss turn two one last time, I guess. Oh no, what happened? So I didn't, I didn't get you, right? Why uh, was all me? Got into each other. I don't think uh, that's gonna okay, I got you. I thought, I thought maybe do anything for us. I, I got the throttle happy trying to get the better run. It got him from me. Well, I guess maybe yeah, we're, we're just gonna get seven. I'm gonna say you definitely would have had me in turn one anyway. Back to the end though, in case they do run out last second. Nice win, Ian. Good race, man. Well, we're just gonna get seventh, I guess. Yeah, really we thought more people would run out of fuel, but that's fine. I can't believe you made it on fuel. V7, okay, it's over. Ian gets the win. Yeah, I was pushing for it way too hard in that last one. I think I didn't get the same Good job, very good tired. job. I should have been more methodical about it. I'm right, frustrated right, because I felt like I could have been you, better, but... You just sitting back there. That's fine. We still get a nice finish. Nick, I ran out of fuel as soon as we crossed. Yeah, I ran out of fuel crossed in the line. I don't know how I held steps off right there. Time to perfect. Ian gets the win. I need a boost to the pits, please. We all out. Yeah, I was running out right as we were getting to it also. I'm, I'm done. 6870 on that final set of tires. Great, great, great guy, guy. That was a lot of fun. Really interesting. Great win, Ian. That was really cool. Yeah, it definitely feels good considering last week. So, yeah, yeah these, these guys were able to go long enough. Good job. Yeah, thank you. 73, I think, was about as long as you could stretch it. It looks good like. Ian. Good day, sir, but that was fun. <laughs> 24 helping Tracy. Yeah, great racing, guys. Yeah, I've never run Legacy Pokemon before. That was fun. Right, we'll see the incidents. Yeah, Sorry for being so negative all race. Fun I'm just mad at so myself. Were you out of fuel too, Dakota? Yeah, I ran out as soon as I crossed the line. So Chuck's gonna blink a little bit. What else are we gonna get? 31 into the wall. I could have done it any closer. Uh huh. Like the 54 is heading for the wall. We'll go ahead and skip by uh, some of the wall hits then. We got our first actual caution. That was a big one. We got our first actual caution much later. Wow, Zach's in there way too fast. Huh, that almost looked like a brake failure. Yeah, he's going to miss this corner too. He's way too far down the track. It's a rough one. Nick coming into pit. 
Uh oh. That's no good. Actually, he kind of got going again pretty fast. Did he speed, though? Probably not, because he actually still finishes 11th. More pit entry trouble, or everything looks fine there? A little bit of blinking. Looks like it's been a pretty clean race all the way here. I'm really curious to see what that caution was. Was it already here? What was the caution? I'm trying to figure it out. There was a caution, right? Right around this time. I'm really confused. Yeah, no, it's coming up. Yeah. Okay, what was it? Everything looks fine. What on earth was a caution? Oh. Why? Why? Why did he do that? I guess he had to leave like immediately, but at least go to the pit so you don't bring in a caution for everybody first. Yeah, hope everything's good. Because when you see someone leave like that, like you wonder if there's like been a, an emergency. But hopefully he's all right. Uh, get this going. Oh, come on. Is it broken? What is happening? Sorry, I'm trying to get this uh, working again. Found someone that went longer. There we go. Okay. It's right around here where the caution came out. Well, that's a wall hit there. We got two white heading into the tunnel turn. No, I think that 86 was maybe a little bit too low. Yeah, 86 was a little bit too far down the track. On that one, it looks like. Looks like he was drifting, maybe without realizing it. Because if you just kind of like look at the line here, it's too far down. And that's a dangerous place to get turned. He's up on track. Everyone able to avoid it, though, thankfully. Almost look like he started flipping. <laughs> All right, continuing. Let's see if we see anything else. Whoa! 86 almost takes out the 7 by over overdriving it, uh, driving it massively. 58 has to slam on the brakes so as not to run into the back of uh, Coors. 
car. Andrew into the wall on entry. That's a rough one. That's going to tear up that car a little bit. Knocked your wheels out of alignment. Or so they say. A little bit of blank, not too much. This is lap 95, so we're almost to the end of this thing. Side by side here, I heard something happened with this. Oh no, that was just Kevin getting loose. He's fighting hard on the outside. He still holds on to P3 though, so he doesn't lose anything from that. Just didn't have quite the chance to uh, pass John there. That's a big hit too. And here we are on the last lap. Oh no, the 72 getting loose. Giving it all he's got, heading to the checkered. He'll still hold on to that spot though. Andrew trying to get everything he can and getting loose. He was like gassing it up hard. Basically just barely able to get to the line before running out of fuel. And Ian with the win. There it goes. So that will do it for this one. Um, sorry for being so negative again. I was just very stressed after I almost missed the start of this race. I had to rush home and then I didn't have any practice. And so I was just frustrated with myself because I wasn't feeling very confident, feeling very good. But we still get the P7. And uh, that is definitely just fine. So we will go ahead and look at the race results. Give me just one moment while I bring those up. Right here they are. Hopefully that'll show up for you. And it does. So, Ian gets the win and the fastest lap and leads laps, so he's getting a ton of points. But John gets the most laps led, so he'll get a little bit of bonus as well so you can see they actually end up with the same amount of points we will finish here in seventh we lead two laps because of uh, staying out just a little bit longer than Billy and that was strategic so we would get a little bit of extra um, in the point department Let's see Gavin finishes 15th with 118, so we're going to pull our lead out a little bit further. And then Tracy, who was third in the points, finishes right behind us. And so we'll only gain a modest four points, but still uh, getting a, a little bit further there. So now that we've seen that, we'll go ahead and look at the actual standings, which should be updated, I believe. Yes, so these are your current standings. We are still P1. Since we were able to at least uh, bring together a nice top 10. Gavin and Tracy, still your second and third place. But Ian with the win, going to get a big point haul. And uh, getting very close to Tracy there for the third spot. And uh, he's going to be one to watch for sure. So that will do it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll uh, try to get home quicker next time <laughs> and hopefully be less stressed out or unprepared and less uh whiny <laughs> but uh for now this will do it thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next one have a good one